I couldn't wait to see the mysteries that lay inside. How do you solve the cost of living crisis with engineered human meat? It sounds like magic. And this is where the magic happens. The Good Harvest processing plant has been up and running for over eight months. It contains both industrial and clinical operations on a site the size of four football pitches. Hey, are you Mick? I certainly am. Pleased to meet you, Greg. Very good to meet you. I'm here to learn. Right, come this way and I'll show you how it all works. I want to see everything. Oh, you will. <laughs> Mick Ross oversees the production line and is in charge of over 60 full-time staff who engineer roughly 50,000 steaks every day. So come on then, Mick. How on earth do you grow human meat? I want to introduce you to our nutrient vat. Hello, nutrient vat, Greg Wise, <laughs> telepresenter, and your job is? Well, what its job is, it processes thin slices of tissue in a nutrient-rich mix, which you see here, and then cells start to grow. So over a 24-hour period, these will slowly fuse together into one great big, what we call a cake. So you're telling me that that is human flesh? Exactly. But why human meat? Why not animal meat? That's a very good question. We've got centuries of knowledge of human medicine at our side. We know more about humans than we do about animals. So we've mastered engineering human cells to make these structured flavours and sinews that we expect from the flavours of steaks we eat. That's right, a protein made from human cells that promises to be cheaper and tastier than any of its competitors. I'm Greg Wallace, and I'm off to visit Good Harvest, where a whopping six tonnes of human meat is engineered every day. That is stunning. With the promise of cheap meat for all, it may well be the meaty miracle we need to ease the squeeze of the cost of...